And still, two time is Bikini Olympia champion. Jennifer Dory. <laughs> Okay, so today is uh, legs, but we're gonna do uh, post chain, which is hamstrings and glutes. Glutes, hams. Um, we're gonna start with glutes first, uh, just to get um, warmed up and uh, get the hamstrings warmed up by default, of course. But we'll start with some uh, cable kickbacks, then we're going to um, some uh, glute bridge hip thrusts. Yeah, we're gonna do, or we're gonna do ab abduction second. Um, and then uh, glute bridge, and we'll move on with hamstrings. Yeah, probably like lion hamstring curls, um, single uh, leg. Ali actually just told me they have a new. Um, yeah, dual. I saw it last night, but I didn't get to tease it because it's yeah. packaged up. But yeah. it's like a dual one, so yeah. we can do that. Yeah, seated hamstrings. Seated hamstring curl. So. And then we're gonna finish reverse high burst. Yeah, reverse high burst. Banded right here. Yeah. What else? I think that's enough. Deadlifts. Yeah, yeah, we can do some, we can do some hamstrings out doing deadlifts. Yeah, we can do some RDLs or <laughs> some stuff like deadlifts. So, <laughs> like, you'll, see, you'll see it on the video. All right, let's go. I'll talk, okay. <laughs> That's good, do you count workouts? So he just asked me, do I count my workouts, like how many workouts I have left? And I was like, not really, not until like the final week and I'll be like, or the final two weeks, and I'll be like, I only have maybe like two or three more shoulder days left. And then I was like, wait. We're 11 weeks out, which means I train most body parts twice a week. That's only like 22 more workouts. So when you think about it like that, actually, it's not a lot. You know, each one counts. So this is my 20 seconds to go leg workout. <laughs> so let's get it. Only good vibes will be all in my way Ooh, ay, what can I say? Don't play for the march, just 
for the day. I've been vibing with the who Ain't no telling what I do. If you wanna mess with my vibe, you gon' have to say your goodbye. I've been vibing. Me and my folks all good. That sun is shining. So what we chose to do to finish up with the hamstring instead of doing straight sets or working sets, we're going to incorporate a little bit more volume with you know, less rest time. So she's going to do seated hamstring curls, then we're going to do lying hamstring curls, and then we're going to do single uh, stiff leg deadlifts. Just to really hit the hamstring and glute from all different angles with different types of tension. So one curling, one curling, one stretching. One. Hamstring curls, instead of having my feet like this, I'm going to turn my feet inwards. I'm going to press my hips into the pad and it's going to work my inner hamstring a bit more. So, right here, I'm going to press my hips into the pad like this. And I'm going to turn so here. Like when I pull up, you can see here is where I'm working. Actually, can I go down? So, essentially, her feet are going to be at a, pi a pigeon show. Pigeon toe? As she, as she engages in curls, it's going to engage more the inside of the hamstring, which cut, cuts across like this, okay? Yeah, I gotta keep it trendy on my soul. I'm the most selfish person that I know. Here we go down the rabbit hole. Got a couple carrots around my neck. Self-respect when you out of line, you put yourself to jack. Which is weird because it's super light for me. I'm only like five pounds off my stage weight. 
but I feel like I'm probably closer to like seven pounds off my stage weight. So I think this year, wait, what do you think? This year, I think I'll probably come in instead of 125. I would say 120. If I were to guess, I'd put my money on 123 for my stage weight this yeah, year. Yeah, 123. 122, 123, just because I feel like I have way less inflammation this year, just from resting. That I, I think I'm going to be leaner one, but less inflammation, just like better, like crisper, sharper conditioning. I can even tell in like my midsection already and everything. Well, yeah, because she had a good year of the rest and really just train based on improvements she needed to make. And I think she's becoming, you know, more conditioned faster than usual because she was doing show after show after show. The body was under, you know, a lot of stress with cardio training, diet, and stuff like that. So, so far it's been easy, but yeah. we'll probably end up picking up a little bit. Right now I'm doing 30 minutes of cardio on Stairmaster six times a week. My food is still pretty high. My carbs are like 175. 175. It was just 200, and we just adjusted it a little bit, so. I actually didn't have a cheat meal the past two weekends. And she's going to have one this Friday for her birthday. And then... Well-deserved one. Well-deserved one. I decided to cut them out because I wanted to save it for a special date instead. Because we weren't going to cut them out until a little bit later, but I was like, let's just get further ahead. Yeah. Um, but we'll probably end up bumping my cardio up, I would assume, after this week. Yeah, after the birthday, we're going to get a little bit more aggressive. and Maybe add like... Um, since I'm doing 30 minute stairs in the morning, either like an extra 10 or 15 on the treadmill after my stairs or post workout. Because I kind of I like doing my evening cardio. Keep you guys confused a little bit. No, I'm going to share it. That's the whole point. <laughs> Honestly, I miss doing my evening cardio in my garage. It was like my, my own like, peaceful solitude. And I would just like put my music on. It'd be so hot in there or it'd be freezing in the winter. And I would just be like in my own space grinding it out late night. So. Sometimes I'm in there training at night and I'm like, dang, I wish I could do cardio. So yeah, we'll probably bump the cardio up next week, I would assume. I kind of want to bump it up a little bit just to keep things moving because everything's been like going like this, but I do want to bump it up even more just so we can be ready early. The game plan is to be ready four weeks out. I am going to Pittsburgh to film my road to Olympia at the middle of November. I think it's four and a half weeks out. So the goal is to be like, pretty much right there so I can hopefully be ready at that point and then just cruise into the show the last few weeks but since it's here it's super easy because i don't have to worry about traveling i don't have to worry about different climates different time zones so that'll be nice and easy but that's the game plan just keeping everything as is staying consistent and mentally feeling good feeling nice and relaxed and the goal is to keep it that way so yeah. thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed today's leg day we didn't do as much as what we planned to do because we were keeping rest periods really short. It was like 30 to 60 second rest periods and we did a lot of supersets, giant sets, and a lot of volume. So I didn't really get to do everything we wanted to do. We didn't do the blue bridges like we wanted to do. What else was it that we didn't do? I think it was just the blue bridges. But we're going to do those on the next leg day instead just because my hamstrings and glutes were pretty toast after today's workout. So that's all for today. Catch you guys next time.